Hello everyone, welcome back. Back for another laser dry fire training. This time I'm going to use the laser hit app. Seems to be an update for it. It looks a little different. Uh, version 3.0.1. It's a little different. They added a lot of steps. A lot of acknowledgements. Uh, let's go to practice here. And you'll see uh, they've added top score. And uh, I think you have to buy that. So they got it for the Android. I think they've already had it for the uh, iOS, Apple phones, and all that. Uh, the look is a little different. It didn't uh, override my hits. So I got 24,613 hits. Let's go to the free app here. And you see it's kind of changed a little bit. Let's take a look at the settings. You have a sliding bar now which makes it a little bit easier to do uh, still only 60 seconds one second delay okay the voice thing has changed a little bit but that's all right it still does the voice let's go through the steps here so here's all the steps i've already zoomed in it doesn't focus while it's in this area but it does eventually does focus now look at the lights here. Let's uh, move this around, get this adjusted. There's no problem. It's more finicky on the lights. As you can see up here, it's recording 10, 9, whatever, whatever it's doing. I don't know what that means, but I think it means, you see up on the upper right, I have it sideways because I have a, a vertical target. But it says 9, 10, 8. I think that's just the lighting condition. So there's like a little lighting number. And I'll Please see Please go to the firing line to start your practice. Okay, that's the voice. You could change it. Uh, if you push if you push the little speaker thing, it changes. So there there's you see the little dot? It's it's green. It's like a nine, ten, nine, eight, whatever. Uh, if that's green, that means the lighting's good, so we'll we'll go with it. Um, I'm just going over some of the new functions, and you see the speaker. You could turn it off. If you push it again, there's some other functions, louder, slower, the tempo, and all that. So, but I got it already set. Okay, so let's let's try it out. It's an updated. I don't know if they improved the lighting. Or if they improved whatever, I'm not sure. We'll let it time out here. It takes a while to time out. All right. 0, 0.0 seconds. Okay, so you see it times out. All right, so let's back up. I'm just going to shoot the reload. I'm just going to shoot the reload anyway. So I've got a TH9 on my right side, holstered, outside, on the belt, outside the waist, band, just Uncle Mike's holster. Let's go ahead and just check this real quick. And there is, uh, you should be able to see my G sight in here. So G sight is in there. The spring always pushes up against the uh, slide stop. So this is uh, safety checked. I do put the magazine in here, but it's empty. So that's on my right side. And on my left side, I have my other TH9. This is my second TH9, my backup. I could tell because I didn't uh, put nail polish on the... Uh, on the sites here but let's go ahead and check that and i'll check it doing the lefty for you lefties out there who uh may be watching all right so here it is let's check it my g site is in here excellent this is how i this is my ambi way of doing it there we go ambi totally ambi there we go. So, will I shoot with my left hand, right hand? Probably not, but I'll just have it on my left side anyway. So, this is another dry fire fun. Oh, see, there there you go. 
So it does this every now and then. Uh, the screen is permanently locked. Okay. Well, whatever. I, I, it's still a little glitchy. It does that every now and then. Yeah. So, there you go. Please go to the firing line to start your practice. Anyways, I don't know why. It, maybe it, maybe it's on purpose. It does that. I'm not sure. It just locks up and then whatever whatever the reason it does that. So let's just get started. <laughs> now that I safety checked it. Oh goodness. I'm just gonna do one handed. Here, I'll just let me stand up or whatever. Whatever the reason, uh, I'm getting used to the new software. I, I kind of like it the other way, where it was just a lot easier to use. I know the lights were dimming in and out. I guess maybe that's what the update was. Obviously, at this distance right here, it, it works. I, I actually had it right here, and it was it was doing those little things where it was telling me that the light's not good and it paused and I had to push OK, OK. So maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, that was my original, usually on my right side. So let's pull out the left side. I'm not going to shoot with my left hand. I'm uh, going to go ahead and uh, reload here. Still reloads. Good. I put it on a one second delay and it seems to work when you shoot the reload. When you push it, it does the five, four, three, two, one countdown. And I can see it's already getting red for some reason. Ah, look at that. Uh, yep. Yep. Anyways, whatever. God. It's getting red again. Let's just start shooting. Seems to be working now. But for some reason, it, it has to think while you're shooting. For some reason, it just has to think while you're, while you're shooting. I... 0 0.0 seconds. Go figure. So, uh, is it an improvement? I, I don't know. I guess it works. I mean, it's the screenshot's much nicer. It's even. It doesn't like go in and out like it used to. This is my first time actually testing it. I actually downloaded it. I uh, I saw it on their. Um, I saw a video that they updated it. It looked kind of cool, but you know it is what it is. Anyways, that's for the left side. My backup TH9C. Uh, we'll see if the trigger spring breaks on this. So I'm still. I'm still training. I'm still training with the TH9C. Oh, there it goes again. What did it permanently lock? Oh, whatever, man. Oh. So I'm on the 15s here. Okay, unable to continue. Okay, just it does that when that when that dot turns red. For some reason, it whatever. 
shooting high for some reason. There it goes again, unable to continue. Zero point zero seconds. Uh, I've got to do that over again. I'm going to be right here this time. And it locked up. Please go to the firing line to start your practice. Yeah, okay. Let's do that again. I feel like I have to hurry or something. I'll just shoot that 15 one more time. There we go. Anyways, uh, is it an improvement? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, I liked it kind of the way it was, but at least the screenshot looks nicer. But every once in a while you have to stop and you have to push OK. You have to do whatever, um, which I don't like. I, I don't understand what it is that it's measuring because I'm inside, I got pretty even lights and oh, so hmm, not quite understanding what it's measuring. 0, 0 0.0 seconds. Okay, there you go. Let's see if I, that was, uh, that was my right, my original TH9C. Now let's go to the left and shoot the, the other TH9C here. All right, so. Uh, what are we on? The 20s? Oh. Yeah, for some reason it does that. Uh. Let's just, uh, let's just stand up for this. All right, that was the left side. Just took the other gun out. Let's see which of these trigger springs breaks on me. All right. So, back to what I was saying. The uh, TH9C, the trigger spring breaks if you pull this trigger enough. I got this back. This is broke twice on me. Now I'm testing it out. Hopefully they've polished all the internals here, the trigger bar and everything, and so far it's still here. 0, 0.0 seconds. <laughs> okay. And this trigger has broken on me once. This was my backup. And uh, they have did the same thing. They cleaned the, cleaned the internals, polished everything. We'll see if it breaks again. We'll see if it breaks again. Uh, I suspect it probably will. Turns out these guns are notorious for trigger springs breaking. Okay, so this time, let's double fist it. And let's get closer. Let's get closer. Uh. Register that one. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and hammer it. This is where I'm just looking at the laser. 37.7 seconds. <laughs> uh, it's set to hit at a max at out 28 uh, hits because that's how many five squares are around. Anyways, anyways, that was that was fun. Uh, I enjoyed that. It's it's all right. Uh, back to laser dry fire training. Um, still training with the TH nine C's. Ugh. That again. Okay. Whatever.
Um, as far as the laser hit at, I guess it is kind of an improvement, although I like the previous version, even though it, it kind of phased in and out and it focused went in and out of focus. It didn't do this to the point where I got to mess with it like that. Again, I don't know what it is. I'm indoors. I have indoor lighting. Uh, there's nothing changing here, although the projector may be an issue. That could be it, but I don't want. I don't feel like printing out paper targets and pinning them up on the wall. Uh, it lets me do a lot of different targets. So, is Laser Hit now my favorite app? It used to be. It used to be. Not so much now because of of this. Uh, but I have to say, you know, as, if you can get it right, and you know, if you're able to tolerate this then then it's a pretty good app. At least the screenshot looks nicer when it's not doing this. Anyways, uh, feel free to like, dislike, leave a comment, or even do a video response. Until next time, everyone, uh, stay tuned. See you all later. Bye.